I think of moats and I think of defensible, right? How do I defend my market share, my customer base, what I've currently built in my business as a distributor or manufacturer? So Jay, we've been hearing a lot of talk about uh, how distributors and manufacturers can create stronger moats around their customer. Mm -hmm. Now, when I think of a moat, right, <laughs> I'm thinking back to you know medieval times where there's yeah. castles and these huge areas of water surrounding a castle. Um, today, you know, it's probably likened to just how can you increase share of wallet with your customer, and how can you create stickiness and loyalty to your customer. Um, and one thing that we've uh, been advocating um, in a big way here recently is how can a distributor and a manufacturer or supplier base really come together in new ways to build bigger and better moats around those customers? Yeah, and yeah, I love the analogy. I think of moats and I think of defensible, right? How do I defend my market share, my customer base, what I've currently built in my business as a distributor or manufacturer, right? How do I protect my market, my market share, to your point? Um, but I think it starts with a deep, deep understanding of your end customer. Yeah. So if you look at you know, what you have today, do I have a deep understanding of their business, what their pains are, how they win and are successful in the market? Start there and then take that knowledge back to your supplier partners as a distributor and then work with them in creating new solutions and opportunities that can be leveraged with those end customers that you are intimately knowledgeable with now. Yeah. Right? M connect those two dots. That connection will further expand your moat, make it deeper, bigger, more swampier if you're an analogy <laughs> of the medieval times, right? Um, and make it harder for your competitors to encroach on your space. Yeah. Right? And yeah. you know, give your, your current customer a reason to stay within that, that family uh, that you created, right? With that environment you created. Yeah, and I think putting this in action, Jay, mm -hmm. I think it has to start with the distributor because the distributor has a front row seat to their end customer's business, their entire operation. So if a distributor can start partnering deeper and in new ways with their supplier base, bring in new ideas, new solutions, they can aggregate you know, more manufacturing supplier partners across that entire operation and bring in new ideas and solutions to their customer. It's a great question. We get asked a lot, what does that mean? Like partnering better with our suppliers. And let's just take one example, one simple example of innovation, right? As a front row seat, understanding your customer needs, bringing back and collectively together building an innovative solution that either isn't in the market today or isn't leveraged in the market today that directly affects the positive attributes of your customer's business, meaning it helps them grow, retain their customers and win, will be of high value to them. Partner with that just on innovation, requirements, needs and wants and pains of that end customer and work with your manufacturer to develop that together yeah. and deliver it to the market together.